This is going to be a really quick trip. Um, heading up past Wollombi, just outside of Cessnock in Hunter Valley, Warren Country. So you would have seen one of my previous trips when I come back through St Albans, I think it was along the uh, Settlers Way, and I come out through, back home through Wollombi. So this trip, um, going to head back out that way, past those uh, convict culverts that I filmed last time along um, the Great North Road. And there was, a, I think it was a state forest, a few campgrounds up there. So just going to go and try to find one of them, but just stopped just as I'm about to enter into Wollombar. Mogo Campground. There's nobody else here. It's Sunday afternoon, so most people have gone home. Uh, the weather's just starting to rain a little bit, nothing drastic. I'll show you around the area and uh, what I'm in for tonight. So first of all, there's the information board. So I've come in from Wollombi, down the Great North Road and then come in, or turned off uh, at Buckety and come in, so I'm, I'm now at the Mogo campground. So there's information boards, gives you an idea of what's where. There is a lookout, Finchley lookout, so I'm trying to find that. Oh, there's Finchley, there it is there. Might go and try to find out tomorrow or another trip out here. So there's an information board on the formation of the landscape. And they're estimating that the layers started 270 million years ago. More information on Aboriginal heritage. and also the old Great North Road. So coming on this road here, you've got car parking spaces and some fairly level flat grounds with fire pits, uh, kitchen area, and up in the back corner of the car park is a drop toilet. And you've got these nice uh, tables as well. So unfortunately I can't bring my car in and set it up the way I'd like to or the way I normally do. So what I'm thinking is I'll just set up where I'm parked over there and there's a fire pit as well and then I'll just set it all up as per normal. Won't make much difference to me. Let's come down here to the kitchen area and see what's, uh, what's on offer down here. So we've got barbecues, uh, they look like their LPG which is supplied for you. Got a nice fireplace, if you had a nice group you could really enjoy this. Probably the most important sign at any campsite. Right, uh, I've got to start getting ready so I can start getting dinner on. Hopefully this rain doesn't uh, go all night. Right there guys. This cook up's obviously going to be a little bit different than uh, what I've done in the past. Got all the stuff from the back of the truck. I brought it down to the camp kitchen. 
and hopefully I've got enough. So at camp, just about to get the fire started. It's raining, but uh, the way this camp's set up, it doesn't really matter. I've got um, full coverage over the camp kitchen. Up the other end of the camp, there's a table that's full covered as well. And the only thing I'm going to have to worry about is when I move the car. So let's get started. Time to relax. So obviously start off with a bourbon. If you're new to my channel, quickly hop off the lounge, go grab yourself a drink and uh, open it up and let's just enjoy. Cheers guys. How good is this? Out in nature, it's now bucketing down. So no different with this setup. Um, I hope you can hear me. Couple of fire starters. This will actually be the first time I've cooked like this myself. So let's see how it goes. So I'll get the fire started, let some heat get in there and I'll do some preparations. You might notice, I'm not sure if the camera captures, I've actually got two big lumps of uh, wood already on the fire. Somebody had obviously camped here overnight um, or had been here during the day and one of the fire pits was still smouldering. So just did the right thing guys, put your fire out. You know? It's not that hard um, and just make sure it's put out so we can all enjoy these locations anyway get the fire going how good is this to have a fire here like this i'm undercover i'm protected from the rain people say you know how are you going to go when it rains uh, find locations like this Again, this wasn't the actual plan. I was hoping I could have got the car onto some flat land, but in saying that, if I had the flat land, I probably wouldn't have these, uh, these facilities. And today I need these facilities, so I'm really grateful. Hope you're enjoying, guys. Gonna get dinner ready. How nice is this? Um, so the rain's just starting to stop. That, the heat off that fire is awesome. This is a great setup. Sun's still up, although I probably only got maybe a bit over an hour of light left in that. Just, just another trip where I needed to get away. Um, if for no other reason, it's just I like to get away. Just enjoy suppose my time I'm out here again by myself it's it's relaxing you've got those sounds in the background which you just don't get in town in the city and yeah you can just just wind down you, you need to do it like I keep saying every episode this is at your back door This one, this location's probably an hour and a half from home. And any car can get in here. You don't need a four-wheel drive. The road's well maintained coming in. It's well signposted. Um, and even with this rain, there's not gonna be any issue with a, a two-wheel drive. The, the little story about the, the convict trail. So, just take this moment to, I suppose, just think and reflect of, I suppose, what people went through before to give us this freedom that we've got. It's so good, and I'm lucky with my work and my roster, 
that my weekend doesn't always align with everybody else's weekend. So Sunday afternoon now, um, guarantee people would have been out here last night and I guarantee it would have been noisy. And I come out, well tonight's Sunday, but midweek even, and there's no one at these locations. So I can just sit back and enjoy nature, enjoy what it gives us and provides us. Um, right yeah. Just going to set up camp here. There's a couple of reasons I'm setting up here. It's relatively flat. And I can do the awning here as well, just to keep me a little bit more weatherproof. I'm not going to set up the 270 awning tonight. Um, I'll just go with the awning over the rooftop tent. Right, yeah. Couple of quick things. Um, the passenger side, the rooftop tent awning is still uh, loose. That's where I've set up in the car park. And that's where the fire is going. information board and then outdoor dining area. So dinner's done. Um, one of my best. <laughs> I w truly was not expecting much. But have a look at Tuesday night's camp cook-up. I think you'll like it. But I've got this uh, kitchen layout to myself. Got the fire going in the background. Plenty more firewood. Brought lots out with me. So we'll see how I go. I'll probably need an early night and just relax. And This is what it's all about, guys. Just out here and find these locations, relax and uh, enjoy a couple of drinks, kick back. So the uh, the cheap Bunnings chair just broke and I'm seriously just doing the best I can to sit in it. Um, <laughs> right. Anyway. Going to call it a night now. I've got no more seat to sit in. So, but that wasn't planned. Just got up to get a drink. So I just got up to grab a drink and uh, sat back in the seat and it collapsed. Righto guys. Good night. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Um, really good sleep. Just a light rain during the night. Let's see what it's like outside. As I said, I always leave open on all sides. Um, doesn't mean that it's a cold night, it's just... Have a look at that. What a beautiful location. It's, 
there's a light mist in the air. It's not, it's not raining. Um, the fog, sort of, the morning fog, it's going to be here for a while, I think. I don't think this is going to burn off real quick. So, going up to the lookout is going to be a waste of time today and going and finding that. So I think today will be an early day, early pack up and just head home. I had a great night last night, really loved the dinner. I'm just going to hop down. So yeah, dinner last night was awesome. Um, it was a new way for me to cook up. Well, it was the same way, but just different equipment using the uh, bush kitchen, the camp kitchen. So many birds. Every tree you look into, you see the leaves rustle as the birds flutter around and then fly off. This is awesome. This is what it's all about. Some people would say, oh, this is crappy weather, but you know what, you experience the whole weather patterns. Um, it's not cold, it's actually really nice. When I eventually do the lap of Oz, I won't be able to just say I'm camping or filming on nice sunny days. That's just unrealistic and not gonna happen. There will be times that I'll either be stuck in the truck or stuck up there or underneath me awning so, make the most of it. Anyway, as I said, today's going to be a, um, a very simple day. A little bit of driving. I'll have another look around here and see if there's anything I've missed. And then um, pack up and head home. There is a walking track. Um, it's a grade 5, it's 5.5 kilometres, one and a half to two hours return. So I won't be doing that, but where it leads you to, this is where we are, just up here at camp. Leads you down to Circuit Flat Bridge. Just see if there's anything on this track that of any interest to start off with anyway. There's a lot of new grass. Don't know nothing about uh, flowers. If anybody knows what this is, let me know. Track I was on. It's just brought me back to camp. My car is just over there. So that was just an easy 500 meter loop, really. I'd like to get you some footage of some of our wildlife. You know, the birds, and but obviously, I'm just using GoPro cameras, so I don't have the capability of zooming in. That might come in future where I upgrade some stuff, and even like kangaroos. Unfortunately, today at this uh, camping area, there's no kangaroos. I've had a few questions from uh, some people from America and England. Uh, kangaroos common in our campgrounds. Depends where you are, um, but yeah, it's fairly common. Some of the locations I go to, you wake up in the morning and there's kangaroos around your camp. Koalas, well, they hide high up in the trees and 
rarely do you actually see them. Um, but yeah, we've got some beautiful wildlife in Australia. I'd love to be able to show you some of it, but you've got to be in the right spot at the right time and have the right equipment to do it. So I'll, I'll pack up now. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. This fog's going to be set in for another couple of hours, if not all day. Right, guys, going to finish up the video there. Um, this is a fairly special trip. It was only a quick overnight trip, but... So I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, leave your comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Press the like. Uh, subscribe. That little bell that um, notifies you that I've released another video. There will be a video following this one uh, Tuesday night. It will be a cook-up. Um, it was really nice. So cheers again. Safe travels, guys.